Hi everyone. In this video we're going to outline how you can hide and unhide rows using a macro. Now this relates to an if statement that is embedded within the macro. It basically asks if cells are hidden to unhide them and if they are not to hide them. So it works very well. This is very useful if you've got a big spreadsheet with lots of different categorized data and because of the size of it you want to actually be able to expand and hide, depending on what you're doing, the different categories. There are also loads of other applications of this as well. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you the code. I'm going to explain what the code does. I'm going to outline how you can edit this for your own spreadsheets. Now, if you are new to Excel macros, please follow this playlist before you start because you will need to learn how to enable macros, insert buttons, and use the developer tab and things like that. So check this playlist out if you're new. If you know what you're doing, we're going to get started. So I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So you see that in our spreadsheet, we've got a category of cars, a category of bikes, a category of scooters. Now, underneath there is different data sets, and each one has a button. So if I press these, you'll see that they collapse those menus down. If I press them again, it opens them up. So it's quite useful, works very well. I'm going to explain how this works. So I'm going to go into the developer tab, into our design mode, and open up our code. OK, so first of all, we've got rows, the rows that we are selecting. This is where we open up our if statements. If the selection is hidden, if that is true, then we unhide them. If the selection is not hidden, else we hide them. OK, so only a small amount of code. To edit this, all you need to do in your button is edit the rows that you're interested in. So you see here we've got rows four to six. So if we look in our example, rows four to six are the ones that we want to hide when we click this button. Okay, if we take the second one as an example, this button we want to hide rows eight and nine. So if we look into this piece of code, you can see eight and nine. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to paste this code into the description below so you can freely copy this into your worksheets and edit this field here. I will make this workbook downloadable on the website in the link below. So if you want to have a play around with this, feel free to visit that and download it. Okay, I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And if this has helped you, please like or subscribe. See you next time.